about to set off along the Eurovelo one, also known locally as the Velo d'Isay, south in the direction, well, eventually, hopefully, of um, Bordeaux. I don't really know too much about the route. I haven't looked into it in too much detail. I do have history with the Eurovelo one, the Velo d'Isay, because back in 2015, when I crossed the border from Spain, I followed the Eurovelo one all the way up until La Rochelle. This year, 2022, seven years later, I'm going to be doing the other end, well nearly the other end. It actually starts up in Roscoff where the ferry is. I'm not going to go up to Roscoff, I'm going to join the route here in Morlaix and then head south, initially in the direction of Nantes and then in the direction of La Rochelle and basically that will be the point where if I continue I'll be retracing my steps from 2015. My current thinking is probably to take a train from La Rochelle down to Royanne which is right on the end of the Gironde estuary and then cycle down to Bordeaux from there. Just stumbled across the town of Josselin. This is where I was supposed to stay last night. Just cycled past the campsite next to the uh, canal. What a beautiful place. It announces itself in a sign just outside town as Cité, Petite Cité de Caractère. And God, it's got that in, uh, in abundance. And it's beautiful timber framed houses, medieval, lots of uh, red and yellow bunting all around the streets, it's just picture perfect. And there's a castle, the chateau, uh, reading from my rough guide, 
It says that the uh, three Rapunzel towers of the Chateau Josselin are the most impressive site along the Nantes Brest Canal. Well, I certainly agree with that. It's owned by the, and this is interesting, bearing in mind that I stayed in a town called Rowan last night, it's still owned by the Rowan family, which used to own a third of Brittany. So there you go. <laughs> This podcast is going to be all about me cycling along the Canal de la Garonne and the Canal du Midi here in southwest France. It's known locally as uh, le, la Vélo Route des Deux Mers, the cycle route of the two seas, because it joins the Atlantic to the Mediterranean. And actually, since I left Rouen earlier this week, I've been following the signs more or less for that particular cycle route. Arrived in Bordeaux a couple of days ago, had a day off in Bordeaux and then set off again this morning following well an excellent railway line all the way to where I am now which is Sauveterre de Guienne. So it's been a fantastic morning of cycling, brilliant surfaces brilliant infrastructure, beautiful scenery and for the first time I really feel as I'm in the south of Europe. But my destination at the end of this particular section is the town of Set on the Mediterranean coast and that's where I'm going to be 
heading for over the course of, well, I reckon the next week or so. I've escaped the confines of the canal and I've come five kilometres to the south of the Canal de la Garonne to a place called Au Villar. It gets mentioned in the Cicerone Guide by Declan Lyons and also my warm showers host yesterday, she mentioned it as a place to visit and it is very very beautiful. It's kind of perched on the edge of the cliff so you get fantastic views of the Garonne River. Can't actually see the Gar Garonne Canal from here but it is there somewhere. It's listed as one of France's most beautiful villages, and it certainly is. The only problem is, because it sits on the top of a cliff, there was a very steep climb up to the village itself, and I admit I just got off and pushed the, I don't know, 500 metres or so. In doing so, I had a nice chat with a, an American teacher who was here on a writing retreat, he said, at the bottom of the hill, and he's thinking about his next novel, before he flies back to America to take up or continue his job teaching in a university in New York State. But it's a good place to be inspired for writing, I would have thought. Very beautiful. Lots of nooks and crannies in which to escape and just sit down and think about your next novel. I'm tempted to do the same myself. A murder mystery involving a bicycle and a cyclist. Now let's not go there.
I'm about 40 kilometers on from Toulouse, cycling down the Canal du Midi. And I think this is the calm before the storm. Because on my map I can see a solid green line that I'm following. And then it becomes dotted in a few kilometers time. And that is where I think the surface begins to become problematic. And those are the sections where people have said, oh, you know, it's really hard going. Um, but I think I've got a few more kilometers of decent surface. It's not perfect. It's nowhere near the quality of the railway track, disused railway track from Bordeaux that I was taking a few days ago. It is very twisty and turny. I remember Declan Lyons saying that it was a canal that followed the contours uh, dictated by geography much more than the more modern Canal de la Garonne. What is modern about it is the motorway that you can see and hear, probably hear it now, which is just over to the, uh, well to my left. It comes quite close sometimes. It's interesting that the engineers of the 20th century and 21st centuries they clearly have chosen similar spots to the engineers of the 17th century when it comes to putting their major highway. Bonjour. Bonjour. Quitter la Haute Garonne. Quitter la Haute Garonne. Et voilà. Bonjour. Oh là là, ça change.
I stayed in Bézier in 2013 when I was cycling along the Mediterranean and I remember staying in a hotel in the city centre overnight and thinking well it's a, an okay kind of place and then I left the following morning and I went over a bridge and looked to my right and I saw this beautiful cathedral, an old city and I thought wow I, I've just completely missed that. Anyway I continued cycling and all I got was the view. Anyway I'm now back and I can see what I saw back in 2013 which is albeit from a bit of a distance uh, the view of the cathedral there sitting on top of the hill it's a rather beautiful sight I'm actually standing next to the canal no surprise there and I'm actually at the bottom of I think there are nine a set of nine locks that uh, bring the level of the canal seriously downhill Wow. If you've been to Bingley it's a bit like that with a bit more sunshine and with a higher temperature um, oh, right I'm in a bit of a quandary I don't know what to do regarding the next 24 48 hours there are various options my warm showers chap hasn't come back to me so I'm beginning to write that possibility off that was in Agd on the coast um, I wonder if there's a campsite in Bézier I could stay in but do I want to stop it's only one o'clock I want to keep cycling I could feasibly get to set by the end of the day in fact I could no problem the end of the route the start of the Via Rona but the problem with set is that there's just no accommodation there there's no warm showers there's no home camper there's nothing cheap in terms of a hotel and there appears to be no campsite. I have found a home camper place at a place called Montagnac, which is not far from Pesnas, which will be convenient for meeting Basil and Liz tomorrow, but it is another 32 kilometers from set. Can I get up there tonight? Could stay there two nights.